everyone, Emily here. So I packed up the camera and I went to a number of different thrift stores and cash converters in Brisbane, Australia. I hope you enjoy checking out some of these stores and the live game hunting video that we uh, were able to shoot. So it was my mum and I that went to the thrifts. So stay tuned. So it's been a while since I went op shopping, um, especially with my camera. So I'm looking forward to checking everything out. Um, oh, Rico's Modern Life one already. Cool. TNT. Ooh, from dust to dawn. Turtles. Now I am collecting all of these, but I don't know which ones I do and don't have. So, oh my god, there's so many DVDs. This is crazy. Today I'm also here with my mum, uh, we're going to start trying to do more um, videos together, at least once a week I think, so there's so many kids movies, it's unfortunate that some of them have $4 on them though, while others have a dollar. Um, I don't have a season two, so I'm going to get that. It's a little hard to read at the back there. I think this one is like a harder to find one. So, what's that? That looks pretty cool. That's what is that? Jack. Jack. Oh. Nice. That's pretty cool. Oh. It's really nice. Mm. Nice quality too. Yeah. Very cool. Nice pickup. So, books are a dollar. Very good. I've just spotted the fifteen dollars the complete series of Thundercats. That is really cool. Um, I'll look that up first though. Things were four dollars. What? I don't think so. Bachelor party for a dollar? I think so. I have quite a lot of movies. It's just really hard to find them at the back. That thing you do, never leave that. So hard to see the ones at the back. Alec McBeal sealed. No, I don't think about it. Don't think so. Three dollars for Rage. Pretty nice condition actually. So there's like games scattered in between. They used to have them separate in this particular store, but kind of not thinking that today, seeing that they're sort of in between different things. Oh, here we go. They're right here. Perfect. Look how many there are, but they're so hard to see. Shit. We play two dollars. Stick of truth. City life. The theater of absurd. I'll look that one up. Titanfall eight dollars. Ooh. There's heaps. Um, let's try and do this so we can see what's at the back. Nothing exactly great down there. Um, connect games. 
cocoa. God, when you just love to pull something really awesome out. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, some more wee fits. Grand Theft Auto on PC. Um, can't really read the back ones. Some Sims. DJ Hero. No, no, no. Nope. Mensa Academy. Hmm. I'll look it up at least. Play TV. Ooh. This is different. Um, there's a slip case on Uncharted. This is different. I have not seen this. This is uh, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Some will say that this is actually the best Uncharted. Oh, it's not even in there. I wonder if they'll give this to me because it's not in there. Because I definitely want to keep that and show the hubby that cool case. What a shame. But I'll see if I can just take it off their hands if they don't want it. Nothing else there. And with PS2 games. They're really great there either. Okay. Let's have a look and see what I've pulled out so far. So this one has like a cool looking cover on it. I'll definitely check that one out. We play. Uncharted is missing a disc, so I'm just gonna see if I can take this off the hands. And I don't have this, so I'll probably just get it. This seems to be in there. Empty. That one's sealed, so I'd say it's going to be in there. And then the first lot of movies, um, that thing you do, Bachelor Party. I'm going to check out Thundercats. Hopefully all the discs are in there. Um, I don't know what this is. This is cool, though. Another double pack. It's in there. Grandma's Boy, Drawn Together, I don't have season two. That's in there, awesome. Care Bears, uh, Best Of, Rocco's Mon Life. Turtles, uh, volume three, I don't know if I have that one or not. One from Dust Till Dawn, it's such a great movie. So I think I need to get a basket of some description and then keep going through everything. Sometimes there's like so many, it can be a little overwhelming, uh, but it's always exciting because you never know what you might find and the thrill of the chase is obviously always really exciting and now I've got quite a lot of stuff, things in my collection. I think uh, get Two Happy Gamers need this one. Um, but now I have quite a lot of stuff in my collection. It's like, you know, I'm just sort of like filling the gaps here and there. But it's always exciting. It's super exciting. That is awesome. Stargate movie. Love that. There's nothing really there. Ooh. Saturday Night Live, Best of Mike Myers. I actually do pick a lot of these up when I find them. Um, they are really, really good to grab. So I don't think I have the Mike Myers one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And here today, they um, do have sales and stuff, but I think they said if you send, spend a certain amount of money, oh my God, I've wanted this so badly for ages. On DVD, I have it on VHS. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's that? It's a folder. Oh, that's sick. Brand new. 2009. Good work, Mum. Mum found this sick folder. Mario folder. Two dollars. Oh, I have to put that in the bag. I'm sure you're less excited, but I found Halloween H2O. Ooh, 
Abbey sealed? The 50s and 60s volumes. Oh my gosh, we're getting that. Now, when I look for cups, obviously, I have a look for old cups. This one's 2017. It is Pokemon. Um, it's got the starters on there. It's pretty cute. Nice little cup. I wouldn't normally get one, get this, but I love Pokemon, so I'm going to get this one for a dollar. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good size for a little espresso. Um, sorry, bigger espresso that I'll make at home. But yeah, so normally I look through the cups for like old Sony um, promo stuff. There's nothing here today. Actually, that's one of the things that I would always look for is like old cups. Uh, but nothing. So have a look at the kids stuff. So much Nerf, Nerf Fortnite gun. Oh, that's cool. He'd be a remote control one. No remote, $6, yeah. Unfortunately, if the remote was with it, I'd consider it, but yeah. They have quite a lot of cool um, toys here. They always have an abundance of them. But yeah, that Fortnite gun is pretty cool, I have to admit. It looks awesome. Oh, there's like a crossbow sort of nerf thing. That's awesome. Oh, big Batman. What year is he from? DC Comics. I think he's a fake Batman, but he looks pretty good. Nah, not... Oh, let me have a look. Yeah, I think he's a... Oh, it's got Hasbro written on it, but push to talk. Oh, Iron Man. Yeah, nah. They're sort of a bit too new. It's pretty neat. Oh, yeah, $19.99. Nah, not that moment. Um, $19.99 with tag Marvin the Martian plush, $5. I think I'll regret not buying this if I don't, but he's pretty cool. He's brand new. $19.99. Well, hang on to him. I'll think about it. It's our stash so far. Oh, they've got Barbies. So many. I know, but they're like, no one's got an awesome outfit. <laughs> oh, oh. That one is. And you can tell by the quality of the arms, see? Oh, yeah. I think then the years are behind the neck. Yeah, so mum's picked one. So 1990. Mm. All right. So I'm going to go with mum to the counter and um, take a look at what we've picked up so far. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's Emily Strange too. Next stop is a Pennywise. Uh, this is like a cash converters store, so second hand store where people go and pawn their stuff. And it's actually changed quite a lot. It used to have a number of games um, here, but it, it doesn't really anymore, uh, which sort of sad to see so last time I was at this store I ended up picking up I think it was doom on the ps1 but it had a different case on the back so but they do have stuff um, here it's just a matter of going through and seeing if there's anything great osmosis drones mum do you mind checking them if I pass them to you oh my gosh now, okay, this is X Rental. Oh no, it's just a copy of it. I just picked this up, uh, thanks to one of my good friends. My bestie, he did buy this, that for me on um, Blu-ray and sent it to me. Oh my gosh, here's one we don't have. 
Very cool. I love this movie. There, there we go. There's one we don't have. How good's that? Oh. Now, I have found a few of these now, which is really weird. Um, so this is one I don't have. I'm definitely gonna pick this up as a huge fan of Donkey Kong Country. So a lot of people ask me what maybe holy grail items I'm looking for when I do go through this sort of thing. Um, I would like to find Dogma. Oh, here's another one. Uh, no, there you go. I just picked it up on Blu-ray the other day. So Dogma on Blu-ray is one that I would love to find. It's like super, super hard to find. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So I ended up, um, there was a, a DVD lot that I picked up the other day and I really had my eye on it. It was super cheap. I picked it up because I wanted this movie on DVD and it wasn't actually in it and now I've got the Blu-ray version. Five bucks. Yes. Oh, the butterfly effect one and two. I think we'll get that too. Rain of Fire on Blu-ray. Okay, so mum's checking the discs for me, which is fantastic. Um, and, oh, games, here we go. Can't leave without looking at the games. So I'm very happy that Pan's Labyrinth was there. That's um, that's really cool. And um, Reign of Fire is one I do have on DVD. So I wouldn't mind, you know, essentially upgrading it to the Blu-ray version. Lost Boys. Boar. I'm definitely getting that. I haven't seen it. There's another one for 95 cents. Book Thief, I, have you seen that movie? Yeah, it's so awesome. So awesome. Friday the 13th extended count. Oh, they've got both Godzillas. Shame they're not on Blu-ray or something. I love, I love those movies. Right, what do we got? What cheapy games do we have? Exciting. No, these are PC. Wild Thornberries. Red Alert 3. That's pretty cool. This one in particular, years ago, had lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. But over the years, they've slowly, I don't know, gotten rid of it. I suppose you could say. But something's promising. They're ready. Ooh. Due to copyright uh, licensing for the music in store, they always have it blasting. Uh, but over this section, uh, when I was looking at it, uh, I was just talking about how the uh, Xbox pricing and secondhand market for uh, the last generation consoles has actually gone up so much. Uh, they're pretty expensive at the moment. Um, that's, you know, 289 for a PS4. Uh, there's 339 for a Switch. And they didn't really have any great games uh, for any of the consoles actually here in, in the cabinets. Um, there's some retro games, which is uh, good to see. N64 games weren't too bad price um, and then obviously over the back they had the NES cart I think they had $29 on that one uh, but $59 for Super Mario 64 and they actually have a couple of uh, switches there too I have my eye on that turquoise uh, aqua color I really do like it but um, I might get one in the future one uh, 
the Mini, some nunchucks, and then uh, N64 controller. Probably not a bad price, in all honesty. You might pay a little bit more on eBay for that. Uh, but they do have two GameCube controllers over the back there, which um, if they were probably 20 each, I might consider grabbing them. They're the two tones, so they're a bit clear underneath. But yeah, they're pretty, pretty nice. They've really consolidated. So before this is where there was racks of games and stuff. So I'm not quite sure where we're gonna find them today. How, how are you? So. Good, thank you. All right, games. Mary Kate and Ashley Crush course. PS1. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Drawn to life. Good to see there's some games though. Retro. They've had these for quite a while. Probably recognize them from another video. So, Smackdown, Sport, Lord of the Rings. Nothing exciting. Got some UMD movies. Um, Blade, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So, PS3 games, what do they got on these? Two dollars. It's probably not bad. Two dollar games. You know that I'm gonna look at them. <laughs> oh, I love two dollar games. Purple highlighter games are six for forty dollars. Sorry, but there's the only one would be Killer Instinct. As you can see here, like none of these games are actually, you know, worth investing the time to obviously buy and then do that with. So. Uh, I've been to this op shop a number of times and unfortunately the last time I was here I actually did end up leaving um, some movies that are probably ones I should have picked up and this happens to be a very very busy one so I'm hoping that some of the stuff is still here but I definitely uh, remember leaving things I probably shouldn't have. Well, that's a sealed copy. Sealed. I might look that one up. Okay, Death Note. Oh, tons of games. It's just what I want to see. So, $4 though. $3. Pretty much. Nothing great. Four dollars on all those. Four dollars on the PS3. Crazy for a game. I don't think so. Nope, nothing. So I'm home safely from our first thrift trip for 2021 and uh, we did find some cool stuff which we're going to go through uh, but one of the things and one of the reasons why we're going to do these more regularly um, my mum and I is because obviously due to everything going on uh, here in Australia my mum uh, can't actually find a full-time job uh, so we're going to try and do these things uh, together and obviously look for things that we can try and resell and maybe give some tips to everybody as well. Uh, but definitely uh, things that I'm more knowledgeable uh, about in that sense is uh, obviously movies and games. My mum uh, knows all that sort of knick-knack stuff. So uh, we'll definitely be keeping our eye on a few different things and sharing that with you. So I hope you have enjoyed this first look at, you know, some of the things that we were looking at. Um, I was really focused on trying to find some games at the moment, but there's just nothing around. Australia has become really, really dry for that stuff. Facebook Marketplace is absolutely huge, but everyone wants top dollar for things. And okay, there's some bargains that happen, uh, but generally lately, um, I've just been picking up things uh, from friends that have posted something that they have for sale and they just cut me a deal, which has been really, really great too. So I'm going to run through some of these items uh, that seem to be pretty cool. 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this part of the video. Uh, but the first thing that I ended up picking up was this uh, tripod. Now, um, it was in the upstairs area of one of the last um, op shops that I went to. Now, it is new. Uh, it was boxed, obviously, as well. But uh, it was really... Um, I couldn't say no. It's a smaller tripod, but I'm hoping that when I get this set up uh, with the ZV-1 uh, camera that I have, that I'm actually going to be able to do a lot of B-roll shots. Uh, particularly in videos like this at the end uh, so you can see some close-up of what I picked up so um, it had ten dollars on it they ended up saying I could take it for five and as I said it was new in box uh, but yeah I thought that was pretty good let me know what you think now in no particular order I'm just gonna go through stuff uh, and let you know what I picked up so this is all from the Pennywise store and as you guys might remember, it's like similar to Cash Converters. It's a secondhand store where people can go and trade their goods. Um, and I ended up picking up a few things. Now, Osmosis Jones in the PAL format, it does sometimes go for a little bit on eBay. So I ended up picking up this. I picked up Boar. I haven't watched this before. Now, Donkey Kong does have a TV show for Donkey Kong Country. I didn't know this until uh, end of last year. I don't believe it's very good, but I'm trying to complete the set. So I actually do have a couple of these DVDs already. I've just added those two. They were 95 cents each. The Addams Family, Turtles Volume 8, definitely needed this one. And then I grabbed a couple of Blu-rays. Now I have taken the price tags off all of these and cleaned them up prior to filming. Uh, but I ended up picking up Pan's Labyr Labyrinth for 4 dollars uh, the Butterfly Effect 2-pack, thought that was pretty good value, I haven't seen the second one before, and Reign of Fire. Next in this big bag is quite a lot of um, different odds and ends, uh, but I thought I might actually share um, a great deal that happened at Cash Converters. Now, um, all of these together, these Blu-rays, uh, should have come to, they were $3 a piece, they actually should have come to, I think, $21 or something like that, uh, but the lady said, are we still doing a DVD sale? Uh, so I ended up walking out of there with all of these for $10 for the lot, which is fantastic because uh, there was actually a couple in here that are worth quite a bit. And so uh, my mum picked up those. She thought they looked unique. So I will definitely finish with those at the end. Uh, so I picked up turtles uh, for a friend. So that was, I don't know, what ended up these ended up being. Um... I think $1.50 a piece or something, I don't know. BMX Bandit, The Jungle Book, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and then these are the ones uh, that are quite unique. So uh, IP Man, IP Man 3, and Grandmaster. So these Blu-rays uh, won't be added to the collection. I'm going to definitely do some investigating on these uh, and see if they're worth um, my mum and I um, obviously looking at flipping those. So that very last op shop I showed uh, had a number of games but they were all like four dollars a piece really and they weren't very good ones at all. But they had quite a number of good DVDs and some of which I do have already but some have great comps so I thought about uh, grab picking these up and uh, obviously for my mum and I. So Tin Cup, there was two copies of those, these were all a dollar each. Whatever it takes, uh, this is like an old classic. I think I remember liking it. Uh, the Mask, Boy in the Striped Pajamas, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Everyone keeps telling me to watch it, but I haven't watched it yet. Uh, Super Ted, classic. Do you know Super Ted? Have you heard of Super Ted? Um, Turtles Volume 5, I'm now only missing one more. I think it's 12. Backbeat, George of the Jungle 2 is for the collection. I haven't watched it before. And then uh, an anime, which I will give to a friend. So Inu Yasha, volume one. Now for the last bag. So this is from the very first store that we went to um, at the start of the video. And uh, the DVDs ended up being a dollar. The games were all different pricing. Now, I, as I said, I have been there before and they have had so many games. They've had new Wii games sealed. They've had Xbox 360 sealed, new sealed PC, and obviously PS3 before in the past. But it definitely has been shopped out, uh, I have to say. Uh, so, But I did walk away with a couple of items, uh, which we will end with. But they had so many DVDs, as you guys uh, could see. So I ended up picking up these. They were a dollar a piece, but I'll let you know the price on each 
item. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Grandma's Boy, That Thing You Do, uh, definitely great comps on that movie. Uh, the Best of Mike Myers, I've almost got the whole set of all of those now I think. Um, this is No Retreat, No Surrender, uh, so Jingler Van Dam, and I haven't watched these, I am looking forward to to checking um, that out because I haven't seen that before, at least I don't remember it. Stargate, Bachelor Party, also another one, uh, if you can pick it up cheap, it seems to sell quite a lot, just as a tip for you guys. What else have we got here? We Play, uh, I think that was $2. From Dust Till Dawn back to a dollar. Uh, Gumby. Now, this is pretty cool. It's sealed. Definitely a good one. Uh, Turtles, the original movie. I think a friend of mine wants to collect both versions, uh, so I'll definitely um, gift the, the, that to them. Uh, this is drawn together. I don't know if you've seen it before, but this is season two. I didn't have it. I'm very happy I have it now. I was very excited to uh, pick up Halloween H2O. When I got home, I ended up having. Uh, having it in the collection already um it was already there but uh it had the new rating system on it and i think i've talked to you guys about it before i prefer the old one uh so i've swapped it over down to the last exciting stuff very exciting stuff uh my mom ended up finding this very unique uh parts of the caribbean notebook uh really really nice quality uh bound uh, with plain paper in it. I don't know, it just looked really, really cool. Um, it it looks like Pirates of the Caribbean, but I don't know if it is or not. I don't know, it's something. Uh, but it's definitely really, really nice. So uh, I definitely need to look a little bit more into this, but uh, it's very, very cool. So my mom ended up uh, grabbing that. That was a dollar. Then uh, the Thundercats set happened to be 100% complete. So for $15, this was a fantastic deal. Uh, obviously new, it seems to go for quite a lot. Uh, of course, this is staying in the collection, but it was a good pickup for $15. Lastly, my mum ended up uh, finding this really neat Super Mario Brothers from 2009 binder, folder. Uh, I don't know what this was released here for, um, but yeah, it's definitely um, official licensed product. Uh, it was distributed by a business down in Victoria and it's pretty cool. I um, like the logo and stuff like that. I don't know if I'll hang on to it. I'm not sure where I can actually put this. But yeah, it's definitely very cool for $2. Um, very, very good stuff. My mum has a keen eye. I ended up picking up that Pokemon uh, cup with the Bulbasaur, Squirtle, uh, Charmander and Pikachu on it from 2017. It's quite a smaller coffee cup which is pr kind of perfect for me and uh, it's bright and colourful and Pokemon so I'm going to use it. It cost me a dollar. Then uh, Mensa Academy. This Wii game uh, seems to be a little bit pricey. Uh, pricier in the way of it's in the you know $20 price uh, price. Uh, amount so uh, might uh, flip it not sure but um, I don't have it in the collection so for two dollars you know I can't say no to two dollar games they stop me I always look um, also we found this really cool uh, Looney Tunes Marvin the Martian um, plush he's awesome he's in really great condition for for being so old and still having his tags so yeah I think that was probably one of my favorite items that we found uh, on the day uh, he ended up being five dollars but I definitely would have regretted not picking him up so let me know if you guys feel the same way that you would have uh, totally regretted not picking him up but lastly there was the Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Uh, this does not have the game in it. It had $3 price tag on it. Um, I've taken that off, but I just love this slip. I absolutely loved the quality uh, and the print of this. So it'll probably be used for, on Instagram uh, for photos and stuff like that in the background. I definitely really, really, really um, love this. I haven't seen um, PS3 slip case before. Uh, like I have seen slips on the bigger, um, you know, double packs and stuff like that, but um, I haven't seen it on this. So you guys have to let me know if this particularly came in a collector's edition, uh, how it was sold. 
are the other Uncharted's like that because I'm definitely going to have to keep my uh, keen eye out for them uh, but yeah this they gave this to me for free because the game wasn't in there uh, and uh, very happy to have taken this uh, because obviously it's quite unique I hadn't seen it before but other than that that is it that is it everyone um, and in case anyone asks what this Pokemon bag is um, thank you very much to my friends uh, rescue retro rescuers uh, they are absolute legends I have linked their channel in the description of this video uh, they ended up finding um, these uh, Pikachu uh, sorry well Pokemon bags uh, these are from 1997 uh, I think they did some research and found that they were distributed by Avon which is like a beauty products um, here in Australia but uh, yeah they're really really cool I didn't realize at the time it was going to have two bags in there there's a backpack and a lunch bag um, definitely way too small for me but um, they were kind enough to obviously still sell me one um, and uh, yeah do a good deal for me so they that just arrived and it just happened to be sitting on the couch uh, so I thought I'd just uh, throw that in there for you guys um, but thank you very much for watching I hope to have more live uh, videos of game hunting. I'm definitely just going to start taking the camera absolutely everywhere with me and recording things and uh, seeing if I can be lucky to find anything on film for you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you posted with how uh, some of this goes if uh, I ended up finding some good items. Uh, but other than that, until next time, I'll talk to you later.